I want to start just standing at the top of your mat. Feet hip width apart, grounding down in through all four corners of your feet, gripping through your toes, grounding down to the ground, feeling a connection with the ground underneath you. Micro bend your knees so you're not locking them. Lengthen your tailbone down long towards the ground. Tuck your tummy in, suck it in, suck it in. Take a deep breath, suck in that belly in, and then hold it when you exhale. Activating that core. I will also say tuck your low ribs in for that. Well, that's what I mean by tuck your low ribs in. Just take a deep breath in, suck that belly in, and keep it held in as you exhale. And it's real nice core activation. It's a really important part of yoga and the physical aspect in my eyes. So lengthen that tailbone long, tuck the low ribs in, shoulder blades down the back body. Press your head against an imaginary wall. Take three deep breaths in and out here with your palms face forward. In a relaxed, tall, straight spine. Relax your jaw, relax your forehead. Enjoy this time with yourself. On an inhale, lift your arms up overhead, stretching high, high, high to the sky, keeping that tailbone lengthened down and your core activated with the low ribs tucked in. I want you to hinge your hips backward slowly folding your torso over your thighs so your hands meet the ground into a nice forward fold activating through your feet pressing through all four corners of the seat as much of a bend in your knees as you need to make it comfortable for you because not everybody can be reach in this straight leg position yet. So lengthen the tailbone down, square the hips off, tuck the low rib in, press up through to lengthen the legs and bring your spine about halfway. A nice little upside down L shape. Your hands can be on your thighs or blocks if you have them, if you would like them. Exhale, rain it back down to your forward fold. And inhale, pressing up through your feet, up through your legs, straightening your legs out and then slowly rolling up through the spine all the way back up to standing. Take three big breaths in and out here. Grounding down to the ground, to the floor underneath you, connecting to the earth. With a long, staff-like, straight spine, head pressing against that imaginary wall, bending in your knees, inhale, lift your arms up overhead, exhale, 
bring it back down, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, rain it back down, plant your hands firmly, pressing through all four corners of your hands and gripping through your fingers, keeping that core activated, step your feet back, about three to four feet. Lift your hips up high to the sky, keeping that tailbone lengthened down. You can be on the mountains of your big toe and pinky toe here. You don't have to have your feet planted firm. You can have your knees bent as much as you want in your downward facing dog. Just make sure you have some nice core activation. You're pushing up through your arms, not dumping into your shoulders. Breathing here. Deep breath in through your nose. And exhaling. Whichever way you would like. Cat would like to say hello. All right, from here, breathing in through your nose. Lift your right leg up behind you into a three legged dog, bending in your knee. Taking that right knee to your nose and stepping it through to plant in between your hands. You can use your hands to help your feet up there if you need to. Your back leg straight. Heel over toe mounds. Mm -hmm. Pressing up and away through your back foot and pressing up through your fingers if you'd like to or through your hands. You can have your hands planted or tented. I prefer tented because it helps my wrists a little better. Or you can have your hands on blocks as well. It's always an option. Keeping your front knee stacked over your front ankle. Shifting the weight to the left hand. Pressing up and away. Light on the fingertips for your right hand. Slowly bringing it up overhead. Twisting your torso to the right to a high lunge twist and on an exhale bring your arm right arm back down next to your right foot pressing up and away from the ground Sh now shifting a little more weight into the right foot, grounding down through the right foot, firming through that right leg, lift the left leg up so the toes are on the mat and your high your toes are high on the mat. And bring your hands out in front of you so your hands are about eight inches in front of your right foot and a little off to the side. You can have both hands on the ground or on blocks. I suggest blocks. And we're going to slowly lift up through the left leg, keeping a nice bend in your knee if you need to. Nice warrior three. And then slowly on a next exhale, bring the left foot back down to the ground grounding through both feet now into a nice forward fold. Breathe here deeply for two breaths. And then slowly halfway lift on an inhale. And on an exhale, forward fold. 
All right, now planting the hands again. We're gonna step back into our downward facing dog, pressing through our hands and our big toe mound, pinky toe mound of our feet. Breathing here for just a couple breaths. You can walk your dog out if it feels good. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Shifting the weight to the right foot, lifting up through the left foot, bringing the left knee to nose, and then planting the foot in between the hands. Come up on your fingers, squaring off the hips, so scissor those inner thighs a little. Nice square hips, shifting the weight into your right hand now, lifting up through the left, twisting to the left, lengthen that tailbone long, tuck the low ribs in, coming back to our breathing, a deep breath in and a deep breath out brings your arm back down to the ground. And bring the hands out in front of you about eight inches. Pressing up through the fingertips and or onto the blocks is always an option. I want to say that like a million times because it's always an option to use modifiers. I'm in a Christmas tree, so there's that. But uh, anyways, um, Grounding down through your left foot, keeping a good bend in your knee, pressing up and away from the ground so you're not collapsing in your shoulders. Tuck the low ribs in, lengthen the tailbone down, and slowly press through the left foot and lift the right foot off the ground. Yay! Keep a bend in your knee. You're in a warrior three or lengthen it if you got this and you want to go deeper, but I am good right here. Slowly exhale, bring the right foot down to meet the left. <sighs> You're in a nice forward fold. Feet either hip width apart or close together, whichever feels comfortable. Breathe in and out. On an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Always remembering to breathe. And try to remember to keep that core activation as much as you can. Inhale, lift it all the way back up slowly. Rolling through your spine all the way up to relax your shoulder blades down, lengthen the tailbone long, micro bend in your knees, roll your neck a little, breathing in and out. Slowly, while you're rolling, it'll feel nice. Keep your feet grounded, really grounded. Get a nice firm foundation and lift your arms up overhead, bounce your knees a little. Move your arms around a little left, a little right. You might look a little funny, but we're dancing now, right? We're dancing now. Keeping your feet grounded, dance a little. Bring your arms side to side. Cat is like in it to win it, huh? Bounce it out. Yeah. Be weird with yourself. And laugh and love and it'll all be all right because we're taking care of ourselves. And we're doing something good. And 
then we're being silly and it's a great time so all right now breathe in deeply while you're doing all of this we're going to slowly start to tap each side with the opposite hand kind of like you're slapping your booty It's really making me feel a lot of good things. All right, slowly slowing down, coming back to center, wiggle it out a little, and standing tall again in your nice mountain pose that we started off with, grounded down into the earth, palms facing forward, head pressing against that imaginary wall. That tailbone pointing to the ground. Breathe. You can stand here and breathe for as long as you want. I'm going to breathe for another five counts or so. And then we'll end. And that'll be great. But if you want to stay after we're done and breathe some more, it's always recommended. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling. Let's go through the nose if you can. And last breath together. We're going to inhale deep. And exhale big out your mouth. Thank you very much for joining me on this yoga journey.